No, but what's wrong? It's not connected, right? So all I have to do is take my little line tool here and start connecting things. Okay, so let's connect something here. Ta-da! And see, so kind of snap to it. Isn't that pretty cool when it snapped to it? And I, I, uh, I'm going to use my little trick once again, right? My little arrow, and what I'm going to do with that, just bend that down. Ta-da! Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you can really draw in flash. So I'm going to come along here and just put another line here, just to give me a little distinction here. So just go from one side to the other. Now, if you want to draw a line straight, you hold down the shift key, and that makes the line straight. You see that? And let's go ahead and just bend this here just a little bit. Ta-da! Oh, I'm just having good feelings here all day long. And just a little bit more on that. There you go. Good. And I want to go ahead and fill in the top. So I'm going to actually going to magnify this just a little bit so I can see it. One of the things I want to do, I'm going to be filling this with a color in a moment. So I actually want to try to close these surfaces if I can. Oh, I need more power. 400. There we go. And we'll move that around. And I should have done this when I was aligning everything up. So I didn't get quite straight. So I'm going to hold this right here. I'm going to just make it a line across here. It didn't quite meet, did it? That's terrible. What do I do? Hit my pointer. I kind of stretch this a little bit if I want to. Ta-da! You know, it's a vase. It was made out of uh, uh, um, uh, stuff. So it can be not quite on. And there you go. There's a lip right there. I can clip this line. What key do I hit to duplicate this? Very good. Control D. And uh, just bring that down a little bit. Now I'm going to show you something very interesting is about to happen here. When I hit this lip right here, I have a little space right here. See that right there? But when Flash crosses lines, it cuts them. So if I click that, you'll notice it got cut. See that? I can just delete off that little lip right there. Isn't that pretty cool? We're going to get into that just a little bit more in this class. I want to do this again the other way, so let me just draw another straight line. I could duplicate it if I wanted to as well, but we'll just draw a straight line. Hold down the shift key, just draw a straight line. And what tool do I use? The pointer, right? And I hit the pointer, and I draw my little vase. And now that's the end of the vase, thank the Lord. And that was all drawn just using straight lines and dragging things around. Not too bad, right? So that's the importance of using a reference image. You didn't have to work that hard. Uh, and now I have a nice little vase. Isn't that cool? And I actually want to fill this in now with colors and gradients. And so that's the next step right here. So let's do that. And I'm going to show you some important tools as well. So I'm going to hit my, uh, uh, come up here to my colors palette. And so whenever you want to find something in Flash, the best, best place to go is the windows, as we talked about last time. So we're going to go to windows. And we're going to go to color. Ta -da. And you can choose several things. Here's your little color palette. And you can see you have the little you know, straight edge and the fill tool. And you have this beautiful little uh, palette here you can choose from. Or what you can also do, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Let's go back to Windows. Color. Or what you can also do is uh, you can actually type the hexadecimal in there. Now, are you familiar with hexadecimal? Hexadecimal for colors. Yeah, I am. Matt is. Matt, enlighten us about hexadecimals and colors. Well, as, as much as I know, you can have letters and numbers, and they're usually six characters long. R R G G, blue blue. There's six letters. Okay. The first two are what? Your red channel. The next two are your green channel. And the next two are your blue channel. You see that? So if I come along here and I start typing in hexadecimal right here in this number right here, let's go Windows, Color. You also have to have a number symbol in front. You don't have to. It's oh, it's already there for me. You see, the number symbol is already there. OK. So I'll need it right here. Let's get out of this. So if I come along here and go back to Windows, Color, let me go back to there. I'm going to type in FF. Now, F is the biggest number you can get. All right? So, FF, that's, so I'm going to fill the two red up completely. One, two, three, four, zero, zero. What should my color be here in my palette when I return it? Yay! I know something. Okay, let's do a little bit. Anyway. So, next, if I go zero, zero, FF, zero, zero, what should my color be? Yellow. Or a green. Yay! One more time. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, put F, F, what should my color be? No, this is for, no, 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 you gotta, you gotta answer. Blue. All right, Zach answered the question today. Hooray! Now, believe it or not, I can get about 32 million colors out of all these combinations. Isn't that cool? Because hexadecimal goes from zero to 15, okay? 
Zero, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Wait a second. You don't, they don't use 10. They use A, B, C, D, E, F. So F means 15 in hexadecimal. And so I can get all types of colors. Well, let's go ahead and put a gradient on this uh, real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my gradient. So I have a choice of different things I can put on my color palette. I can have, uh, for example, I can have a solid color. I can have a linear gradient, I can have a radial gradient, and I can even add a bitmap. So we're going to actually do bitmaps today as well. I'm going to add bitmaps to a little uh, uh, pixie cup. So once again, I keep getting out of that. It's driving me crazy. Let's go back to color. And uh, I have actually a color scheme I'm going to put in here, and actually some numbers here. Let me go ahead and grab those real quick. So, let's our, so we're going to create a linear gradient. So let's go to linear gradient. And uh, up comes the gradient, I hope. Come on, linear gradient. Why is it not doing linear gradient? Let's get back on the pointer. Let's get off of this. Let's go to color. Uh, the reason it wasn't doing linear gradient is because I had the uh, text uh, highlighted here, and, it's, and you, you're not going to get a gradient on that text. So in this particular case, let's go to windows. Let's go to color. Okay, now we're we're off of that. So now we're gonna. So we got gradient, and it's all black. We don't want black. So click on that little uh, like a box arrow tool right there. Uh, so it's connected to the wrong thing. Window color. So click on that box, double click on it, click on it. I can choose from the palette right here. You see that? And that's a kind of a web palette, so there's less than 32 million colors, of course. Or I can come up here and just type in the number I want. And what did I say it was? F, F, C, 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 C. I hit the return. And so that's one side of the palette. Let's go to the other side and click on that. And I'm going to actually use. B86241. So let's do that. B86241. And now I have a little gradient. And I'm going to dump this gradient using the paint bucket right onto my little uh, thing right there. Ta da! Is that cool? And uh, okay, I'm looking at it. All right, all right. I'd like to do something a little bit more cooler here. Well, I could do something with a gradient. So let's go back to window. Let's go to um, which one? I go to color, right? And here's my gradient. Let's go ahead and put. See that little plus sign? I have the ability anywhere along here to to go ahead and put another uh, color. So I put a plus there. I click on that. I actually want that color to be white. Now, what would white be in hexadecimal? F F F F F. Very good. Why is that true? Why is white F F F F F F? Because it's all colors mixed together, right? So we go F, 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 F. And when I do that, I get a white there. And look at it. There's my little shiny line. Now, I don't want my shiny line quite in the middle there, OK? I want kind of on the side because it's bugging me right there. Now, so with this gradient, too, I can do lots of things. I can squeeze my shiny line. I can come up here and rotate my shiny line. I don't like that. Let's Control-Z that. And let's go back to gradient tool. And I can actually push my shiny line over, which I kind of want to push my shiny line over just look by hitting this, grab the center dot and move it over. Isn't that cool? And that's, you know, really when you come to realism and 3D or any type of drawing package, it all has to do with light and reflectivity. The more light and reflectivity you have, the more realism you're going to get in a 3D scene. Okay, so we got that going. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this on the rest of the stuff here. Uh, come along here and dump it on that. Oh, come on, let's get something going here. That we're good. Let me go ahead. And, I'm going to make this bigger so I can see it. There we go. I'll go ahead and dump, grab my paint bucket. So click on your paint bucket, and we're going to dump the gradient on here. And we're going to dump the gradient up here. And we're we'll dump the gradient right there. Okay. Now this needs to be match up with that, and we'll make the light look like it. We're going to make the light look like it's going from an angle. So once again, to make that work, I go back to my pointer tool. I click right here. I'm going to hit my gradient tool. You see that? And then I'm going to actually move this center right here, right here. Ta -da. I need to get it right up there with that one. Ta -da. So what it looks like is the light's hitting here and kind of reflecting over there. See that? So it looks like the light is coming across that way. And there you have it. I made a vase. Isn't that cool? Okay, right. Now I've probably worn you guys out. Zach, you've just about fallen asleep. We've only been doing this for about 10 minutes. Oh, actually, 20. And Zach is almost asleep. So what we're going to do right now is have you guys, uh, you know, draw a vase or something like that. Okay, you want to do that? You want to try that? Okay, good. So let's go ahead and shut the video down now. We'll go ahead and save this. This is the first part of the class, kind of introducing you to some of these drawing tools, the color tool, and also the gradient tool.
and free transform tool. So let's go ahead and just shut this down. I'll go ahead and save this, and you guys can go from there.